Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Gentry and today we're going to be looking at some of my best and favorite dice that I own. Now, I've already made a video about my the best dice that I've had, but it's been a year since I made that video or something like that. And so I thought, hey, you know what? I should make it again, I've got new dice. I'll make sure that I put links to all the dice in the uh, description below if you wanna buy them for yourself or if you wanna check them out. Um, some of them may not be for sale anymore or they might be difficult to get, but I'll at least put links so you can check. But with all that out of the way, let's get into it. So the first thing that I want to feature is actually not dice. It is a new kind of dice display case that I got from C4 Labs. Now there are multiple different color options you can get. I opted for the plain wood one and acrylic front. Um, but if you want to pay a little bit extra, you can actually opt for a completely acrylic one. I think that if I did it again, I would like to get an acrylic one. Like it's like complete acrylic so that you can actually see through the whole case and look at your display. Okay. This set is probably one of the most unique sets of dice that I own. They are hollow orb dice. Now, they I will say that they do roll okay, but it is a little bit, you have to kind of get used to it if that makes sense. So the D20 is right here. So as you can see, it's really rounded. And when you roll it, you kind of have to roll it and expect it to um, wobble a little bit, but it's supposed to kind of catch itself on like three of the little orb pins on each of its vertices. So a little difficult to read, but I have to say the most unique set of dice that I've ever owned, and they make this really great jingling sound. This next set was a randomized set of dice from Skull Splitter. One of my friends um, at my D&D player, Sarah, shout out to you. She ordered uh, seven random sets of dice for all of the players at our table. And we all selected a bag. Um, that we couldn't see in, obviously, one of these. And I chose these really great uh, metal. They look like almost iron with red numbers on them. And everybody got a bonus D20 as well. And it was really appropriate that I got the red and green because it was our Christmas special game. It was really great. I loved it. I loved having it for that game because um, I was actually a player in it. My brother DM'd for that session and it was good. Make sure that if you ever get metal dice or crystal dice or anything that's like hard or rigid like that, that you roll onto a soft surface instead of uh, the table itself. Because if you roll onto the table, it can actually dent and scratch the table. Like not, not just a little bit, like it really can nail into it. And hey, I just wanna say real quick, over 90% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you want a better chance at seeing my videos in your feed, then please hit the subscribe button, maybe even ring the notification bell if you wanna be alerted when I upload a video. I would appreciate it so much, thanks. This next set of dice was kind of an experiment for me. See, um, they actually are from Amazon. And in the past, finding hard edge dice um, anywhere other than like Etsy sellers or specialists is really difficult. Um, but in the past, I would say year, Amazon has really kind of grown a selection of pretty affordable hard edge dice if that's kind of like the style that you want. Um, I will say the two-tone ones, I didn't love the color on the purple, um, but I really kind of like the, the green and the blue. In a way, they kind of meet my expectations, but they also fall a little short. I mean, the quality is just not there, right? You're gonna get a lot better quality if you were to order from like a reputable Etsy seller or something. But honestly, still a good option if you want some affordable hard edge dice. Actually, I got seven of these dice carrying case for my last campaign as kind of the gift for all of the players. Uh, and what we did is we put our like kind of logo for the adventuring party on the top. I, I got a cricket for Christmas, so I vinyl cut that. And then there's a character that I made for myself um, called Sap. And it's got all of our initials on the bottom. A problem with it is it doesn't fit kind of non-standard size dice. So I've got these great sharp edge dice, but they will not fit inside of the carrying case, unfortunately. So a little bit of a problem, but still a cool gift. And it fits all of my players' dice. So that's the important part. So this next set of dice, they're they're really interesting because they're crystal shaped dice. Now, it's not all of them, right? It's I think it's only the D6, the D10, the percentile. It actually gives you a D3 and then a D4. Um, the D12 and the D20 and the D8 are all about the same in standard. But they just I really love the shape. They're they're really fun to roll because they kind of they roll in a straight line. I think that my favorite out of the set is the D6. I will say that if I buy more dice in this format, I'm really gonna look for a seller that does like hard edge crystal dice because I don't know why it's so popular for dice makers to make 
rounded soft edges. I think it's just because they'll roll more probably, but as long as you kind of throw it in the air, you're gonna get a random dice roll, right? This is the D4, kind of comes up into points on each side. This is the D10, and the percentile is obviously the same shape. And then this is a D3. Actually, this these are the first D3 that I own. I've never needed them, so, you know, they're, they're pretty cool, I like them. Now, these are tiny dice. I think I actually got four sets of tiny dice. I mean, they're the exact same shape as the regular dice. They're just tiny. I actually have this set in both tiny format and regular. I think they're called Water Lily from Chessex. Um, if you're interested, I've got some links below. Um, actually, and none of the links that I'm carrying are affiliates, but I got these dice from the Red Dragon's Horde when I went on vacation with my wife to Niagara. Now, this next thing is a really fun collectible. It was sent to me by a company called Enstaved. They did an Indiegogo, I think, or a Kickstarter, kind of raising money to make these collectibles. I think it's really fun. It's essentially a modular staff that has a D20 head at the end. And they made a couple different variants, like one with a the chaotic staff with a black and red head, and then the lawful staff with this gray and black head. I think it's fun. I use it in my Dungeon Judge video if you are interested in seeing it in use there. And hey, if you like this video, then I actually have another video all about me reviewing my other favorite dice. I made that video before this one and before I got these dice, so check that out. I'll put that in the doobly-doo at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please leave a like, hit subscribe. I put out new videos every other week. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck out there, adventurer.